Hello, and welcome to the Movie Universe. I'm your host, Movie Fan. Today, I'm talking about Big Bad Beetleborgs. That's right, Big Bad Beetleborgs. That famous Fox Kids TV show, a story about three kids who enter a spooky mansion, end up freeing a phantasm, or a ghost, as it were. He grants them a wish, and they wish to be their favorite comic book heroes, the Beetleborgs. Of course, as a result, the villains come out too, and the Beetleborgs have to stop them. Of course, they do have some friends, if you want to call them that, in the mansion. You got a werewolf named Wolfgang, a vampire named Count Fangula, a mummy named Mums, and a Frankenstein monster called Frankenbeans. I'm not making that up. But it's really Flabber who's their best friend. He has incredible magic powers, and it seems like there's nothing he can't do, most of the time. Flabber, he was more of the comedy relief, but the monsters, they were kind of a comedy relief as well. I never did figure out how you have all of that in this spooky mansion. I mean, you got a vampire, a mummy, a Frankenstein monster, and a werewolf. All in the same place. Never did figure that out. Now that I got that out of the way... Let's focus on the obvious point, the Beetleborgs themselves. You look at that and you see Power Rangers, but truth be told, they're not Power Rangers. And no, not because they're little kids, but because they're different. I mean, you got the obvious looks, that's the difference there. The monsters they fight, not to mention they had some real awesome weapons, power-ups, even their own little machines to ride and fight giant machines with. And of course, you had the fun aspect of them being kids. And by this time, most of us were probably about their age. I mean, we saw Power Rangers, and we loved Power Rangers. But they were teenagers, and we weren't anywhere near that road yet. Most of us, anyway. As for this, we were that age. So that was awesome. Probably one of my favorite episodes would be when they fight Shadowborg. Shadowborg was awesome probably one of my most favorite villains of all time. Of course, a couple years went by, and they changed things up. IMDB claims they only went for one year, but I beg to differ. It seems to me that it really went for two years. And by the end of Season 2, the enemies created a new monster. And this monster became the new top villain. And he actually took away their powers. So they had to upgrade their powers. So they went from Beetleborgs to Beetleborgs Metallics. Metallics was okay, but it was a little too different. That was my problem with this show. It just didn't feel the same. Sure, I don't think it was meant to be the same, but that's just where I stand on the whole subject. And during that time, they added in a new monster for the mansion. They called this monster the Little Ghoul which suspiciously looks just like the jaw was from Star Wars. In fact, I almost expect the ghoul to go, DD, DD. Of course, when they went metallics, they got some real cool powers, even some kind of mecha zords, if you will. But it just didn't feel right to me, because I loved the original look the best. It had that awesome beetle look, the nice colors, the awesome weaponry. Metallics just felt overdone. Plus, I did not like the aspect of this, because in the original Beetleborgs, the monsters just took the monsters from the comic books and brought them to life. Whereas for here, we got this guy right here in the center who works for these two and just draws monsters for them. That was just stupid. I, I did not like that at all. The series ran for about three years, which is actually a pretty decent run. But compared to Power Rangers, it couldn't hold up. Mostly because of the big change-up when they went to Metallics. That's pretty much what did it there. But still, those were a great three years, and I'm glad that I was there to see it. If anyone hasn't seen this show yet, you should. It's really a good show. Well, there's not too much more I can say about it, except I will do one thing. I'm not just going to end it by signing off. This time, I will end it by playing the Beetleborgs theme song. I hope you like it. Three typical average kids love to watch.
to read their comic strips, pushing what they 